I was just out here walking and a thought came to mind. Rest your mind. You know, I was reflecting back when I was growing up, me and my cousin, he used to talk all the time. And his mom used to say, rest your mouth, rest your mouth. And so that's what I came up with. Rest your mind, rest your mind. Because, you know, we don't take into captivity every thought and wicked imagination that exhausts itself against God. Our mind will drift off into a space and place that we never even intended it to. You know, you ever been sitting around and all of a sudden your mind just start thinking about a bunch of foolishness and then it starts playing scenarios out and you're like, wait a minute, hold it. What in the world? Where did that come from? That's because you're not resting your mind because a lot of times you're so busy thinking about what needs to be done or what you should do instead of just enjoying the day and letting tomorrow worry about itself. Like they used to say back in the day, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. You know, and so once you recognize these things, you will start being more considerate and conscious of what you think when you rest your mind. You know, I was thinking about too, you know, in this place and time, I try to mind what's mine to mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> or I could say, mind what's mine to mind. You know, just like coal miners, you know, they digging through that coal, you know, and mining, so therefore they can get what they're searching for. So that's why when we mine what's ours to mine, you know what I'm saying? We're digging for ore or gold or the reward that we seek to find when we rest our mind. Peace.